This is how you can tell the orientation of the ship. That is aft, and that is facing forward. So that's the front of the ship. Now, we're gonna grab some brekkie. Good morning from Cabanas. You ordered some eggs. An omelet. Made to order, and here it is. What do you do with ham, cheese, and pepper? Yep. Thank you. Mm, very nice. My favorite way to get eggs on the cruise. I got a churro waffle on first day. And some eggs. All the good stuff. Bon appetit. That's what we're doing here this morning. Uh, this morning. Here for Disney Cruise Line trivia. We'll see what, if anything, we remember about the other ships. Um, there is going to be a couple joining us that we know that are friends of friends. Um, so maybe together we can get this. I did three trivias yesterday and walked away with no medallions, but that's okay. I learned stuff. And here's our friend. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So today we're going on an excursion called the Border Country. Uh, we're gonna. It says enjoy a tour of majestic medieval fortifications and cathedrals on this uh, Galician excursion. I don't know what that word means. Maybe we'll find out. Uh, we're gonna see some beautiful countryside. Uh, go for a drive to some of Spain's most impressive castles. We are getting off the boat. Next time you get coming up, three lines. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. very very chilly cruise so far I think uh, so it's nice to be out in the Sun right now we are group 22 
have relationships from antiquity, from a long uh, centuries ago. From time to time, like uh, good brothers, we have certain uh, arguments, you know, <laughs> uh, certain words. But we are, in my opinion, the same people. Mm. All our destinations, for example, in Santiago de Compostela, I come from Santiago de Compostela, it's my city, uh, but I don't want to be there to, today. <laughs> it would be it would be really a uh, 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 thousand drillers, much more. It's a um, uh, big town, a little thing that comes from uh, the Caribbean Sea because the Gulf Stream pass through this coastline. Uh, we are this is the river minions, the borderline. from the medieval ages. The core of this city, the core of this city is still from the medieval ages. And we can find some uh, constructions, for example, from the 15th <coughs> century. <laughs> I appreciate this tour. He was taking care of us. He wants to make sure we know where the restroom is before he sets us free. I appreciate him. No. A ver. Now we're in the town of Tui. 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 T U Y.
We are here in Tui, in front of the ancient city of Tui. This is the main street, commercial street of the city. The street, the Corredera Street. This is the runaway street. Okay, something like that. I'm going to go in that direction to see the ancient uh, walls and the cathedral of this city. And after that, I'm going to walk around this ancient city, but walking faster than in Valencia, because uh, in that direction. So we are going. It's like this. We are now. This point, we are going to the cathedral. That's very easy for all of us, okay? I aim to all of you to go to the cathedral. And after that, I'm going down in this direction and going up in this hall. Surrounding in down direction and going up in this hall. Surrounding the ancient uh, walls of the city, okay? This is the original. Uh, the original uh, wall of the city of Tui, the medieval city, is quite different to the uh, that's a wall that we have seen in Valencia Dominio. In Valencia Dominio, they have, or they have, yes, they have this kind of. We are here in this point, and all this quarter was the ancient reused, the ancient synagogue of this city. But consider that this is the back of that uh, uh, of that synagogue. So this jar were the place where normally the people went out from that door and climbed down these steps to the mix. And the main entrance is precisely there. We can see here remains of the ancient medieval door. Here here and here. There was here in the past an arch, a big arch from here to there to that point covering this area and close completely the city. Come here, please. Come here, please. Wow. isn't it? It's not a normal cathedral. It seems something like a castle. And this was the castle, really, of the city of Tui. We haven't any castle. The main defense against any uh, invasion of this city was precisely this place, the cathedral. So that's because we have uh, with, uh, and paying attention to this Three white men. Where is the vision? <laughs> These three white men are white men. Who are Balthazar? Who is Balthazar? Who is If anybody 
have any problem uh, from now, can we wait? We are going to trespass uh, this place, this arch, bigger now with the ground, bigger with the ground. As I said, this place is so quiet like Valencia or even much a uh, hospital for poor pilgrims that was used during a time like a, an, a, an ecclesiastical jail. This was the next ecclesiastical jail, this building. From uh, uh, along these canals, the uh, remains of the uh, works of the butchers fall down to that direction. And in that direction, turn again, and then turn again to the left. And the lower, in the lower place, there was other butchers that use the intestines, the trips, the tribes of the animals to do other kinds of uh, meals or uh, things. For example, sausages, mainly, and swallowed uh, towels, towels, you know? Uh, this is candles. Wow. Candles. Uh, uh, I'm sorry because uh, the, uh, the word was um, uh, uh, tallow candles. Yes, tallow candles. Just like that. So you can imagine that time during the medieval ages, this place was dirty and stinky. <laughs> And now, the most dangerous place, the Triparia Street, that is like a canal from which that remains pass through. And it's completely uh, carved in the ancient stone, not with this uh, kind of stones. Let me give you this window. This window that have a very particular shape is from the 15th century. Something that we couldn't see in Valencia Dominio is a, a large number of, uh, uh, of uh, houses from the 15th or even before uh, uh, of that time. But this window, this window is from the 15th century and we are going to see windows like this one along this street continuously. So this city was uh, uh, made, these houses was, uh, uh, were made con uh, 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 mainly during the late Gothic style during the 15th century. Consider that. Even Santiago de Compostela, that is a, a world heritage by UNESCO, hasn't so uh, many uh, uh, buildings from that time. The main part of the buildings in Santiago de Compostela are from the 20th and wow. uh, much more from the uh, 19th century. Here, this city stopped completely in time, in the 15th century. Follow me. Uh, uh, group. And they call to this house the house of the table. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you something about uh, some ancient rich rites uh, This is the last uh, place of our tour. And this overlooks the harbor.
exist between these two countries, Portugal and Spain or Galicia, uh, and that you have uh, seen uh, these two uh, beautiful uh, places uh, as we, we, we see, um, like two very beautiful and different places. Thank you very much, really, uh, for uh, uh, elect uh, this uh, this excursion in particular, and I hope that you uh, have enjoyed it as I uh, enjoyed it. And hey. thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Time to go back on the boat. Time to get back on the boat. That was a fun little excursion. It was great. And I, I wouldn't even call it little. We've been gone like five hours. We were gone a long time and our guide was fantastic. I, I would highly recommend that uh, excursion. I hope we get a survey so I can rave about it. It's very good. So the incline. Here's your fame. Tonight's dinner is at the Royal Palace. Thank you. Wash your hands. Oh, they have escargot. There's your deep-fried brie. Yeah. French onion soup. Yes. Magus, yes. what is the theme the of this theme restaurant? Of this restaurant. All right, so welcome to Royal Palace. So this restaurant is inspired by the Disney movie. The Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, all of this. You can see the Cinderella shoes hanging by the lamp. There's a lot of shoes there. Now Cinderella has a lot of backup. Yeah, she needs extra. She keeps losing them. She keeps losing. Yeah. But and tonight we are serving French cuisine menu. Love it. All right. Let's do it. I'm here to eat it, Vegas. We got our appetizers. We got the fried brie. With cranberry. And I've got the shrimp and lobster something or something. Fresh pepper? Yes, pepper. Oh, I guess so. Thank you, Bagus. Hold on, I said too late. I mean, French onion soup. All right, let's dig it. 
We have a Bernays sauce. Bernays sauce. Yeah. Egg yolk, tarragon, butter. Can I go try this side? Sure. Yes. On this side. No. Thank you. Some Ramadan? That'll probably be enough. Thank you. Yeah. I have some. Yes. You like some fresh pepper? Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Good? Thank you. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. What'd you get there? We've received our invitation to the dessert extravaganza, the dessert ball, I guess. Um, right off, I see an espresso martini. That sounds great. <laughs> but today we have a Grand Marnier souffle, an apple tart uh, tatin, or tatin, I don't know, a Tahitian vanilla creme brulee, Ooh. and a strawberry shortcake sundae. The signature dessert is a classic opera gâteau, which is that uh, thin-layered opera cake. And there is a no sugar added dessert, duo chocolate slice. Go ahead, baggage. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> I got a double whammy. I got the apple tart. Yeah, it's like a deconstructed apple tart. And a uh, creme brulee. That's right. Got my coffee. Let's go. We're living the dream, you guys. Living on the dream. Living the dream. Laura got her Mickey bar, her finishing move. And then we're off to trivia. Dinner was top notch. My favorite menu so far. For yeah. Sure. Excellent. It also helps that we didn't have lunch. Let's see if we have an overall winner. We've only missed one. Or if you have a different situation. I'll take the one. I'll take the one. It might not be TV theme related, but it's fine. Okay, so uh, if you've got your score, hold your trivia papers nice and high up into the sky so I can see them. Yeah. Okay. If you got, oh, we'll go with five or more. Give me a cheer. Guys, nice. you got ten. Woo! Oh, I got one down then. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do you get full marks? 14. 14. 14. 14. We dropped one. Can, is anybody tying with 14? Which one did you miss? 24. 24. Oh, 24. <laughs> that was a tough one. 14 out of 15. Go in once. Come on. Come on. twice. Come on. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Well, thank you for joining me for our TV Tunes trivia. Don't forget, tonight here. Winner! We're going to kickstart the goofy metal. With a game show called Quest, which calls everybody in the ring. Just say that. The world's your oyster. Winner, winner. There you go, girl. Thank you.